Support Name Explain on Patreon for $1 a month to enjoy ad-free videos, exclusive content, your name at the end of each video, as well as the chance to have your idea for a Name Explain video made into reality. Go to patreon.com forward slash name explain or click the link down below. South Africa is a pretty interesting country in many ways, full of amazing wildlife and a very complex history. While that is pretty interesting, something that's a little drier about the nation is its name. South Africa's name is very to the point to say the least. It is simply called South Africa because the nation is in the south of the continent of Africa. Like I said, pretty dull. We actually have a whole video on the subject matter, but suffice to say, South Africa is a pretty darn boring name. But maybe it's time we reassess the situation in regards to names down in South Africa. Maybe the nation is hiding within it some much more interesting names, ones that have more interesting histories and etymologies that aren't as to the point as just South Africa. To investigate this cause, I decided to delve into the names of the provinces of South Africa. Yeah, this was initially going to be called, how did the provinces of South Africa get their name, but I've given it this boring name twist to make it more clickable. South Africa is divided into nine provinces, and in regards to the interestingness of their names, well, it's a mixed bag of results I feel. South Africa is a nation full to the brim with languages. In fact, it has 12 official languages, which while a lot isn't actually the most official languages. That title goes to Bolivia with a whopping 37 official languages. Those South African official languages vary from indigenous languages of the native people, to languages exported from other parts of the world, to the unique Afrikaans language, which is an evolution of Dutch. This variety of official languages is somewhat reflected in the names of these provinces, but one language over the others has definitely had more of an impact as I'm sure you will see. Up in the northernmost area of South Africa, we have the province of Limpopo. This seems to be a very rural part of the nation. It seems one of the most defining features of this province are the waterfalls found within it. In fact, the province is named after waterfalls, in a pretty roundabout way anyway. The province is named after the Limpopo River. This river actually makes up its northern and western border. The river's name is from the Sesotho language, a Bantu language spoken in not just South Africa, but Zimbabwe and Lesotho too. The name is thought to mean something along the lines of River of Waterfalls. This, as mentioned, ties back into the waterfalls that the province is seemingly known for. Our aim today, however, is to assess if these names are fun or not, especially when compared to the name of South Africa. For this one, I feel confident in saying that yes, this is a pretty fun and interesting name. It's got an interesting meaning, albeit it just comes from a river name, which is a pretty common geographic name origin across the world. And it's also pretty darn fun to say. On the name explain interesting name etymology scale, known as the Nina scale for short, I'd give Lompopo a 6 out of 10. For context, South Africa is 1 on the scale, and somewhere like Pakistan is probably a 10. Go check out Pakistan's etymology, it's really fun and interesting. Below Limpopo, we have the province of Umpamalanga. This is one of the provinces of South Africa that partially encircle the separate nation of Iswatini. While this name might sound exotic to an English-speaking monoglot like myself, once you uncover its origins, things get a tad more dull. The name simply means east in various native languages like Swazi and Zulu. This is because this province is in the east of the nation. It can also be seen as meaning the place where the sun rises, which is a tad nicer than just east, but means pretty much the same thing. On the Nine scale, I honestly give this name a 4 out of 10. That solely comes from how fun sounding this name is, as the meaning slash origin is pretty darn uninspiring. Moving on to the east of Umpamalanga, we have the province of Huateng. This is the province home to the nation's biggest city, Johannesburg. This is another name that comes from the Soto language, from their word of Huata, which means gold. This is because of the rich, quite literally I suppose, history of mining gold in this part of the world. I'm quite a big fan of this name, so I'm given a solid 7 out of 10 on the Nine scale. It comes from a native interesting language, and being named after gold isn't too commonplace on the globe. It's far more interesting than being named after a river or a direction, though it gets the deuce point simply because of the dark aspects of the mining industry in South Africa. For the record, this ranking system is completely arbitrary and solely comes down to my own whims, but hopefully it enrages enough people to leave a comment for that sweet, sweet engagement. We then arrive at the province of Northwest. 
in the northwest of the country unsurprisingly. Yeah, this one is simply just called Northwest. There's not all that much to discuss with this one. I'm definitely giving it a 1 out of 10 on the Nine scale. It's so generic and vague with no unique features to it. Like it doesn't even contain the word province or something like that in it. I would have appreciated it if they named it Northwest South Africa just to try and cram as many cardinal directions into the name as possible. While some of the other province names we will look into are pretty uninspiring, I don't feel any of them are as boring as this one of just Northwest. The province of Free State might sound like a somewhat boring name on the surface, but if you delve more into this one, it becomes a tad more interesting. What's interesting about it is the fact that it is neither free, as it's part of South Africa, nor is it a state, it's a province. Both aspects of this name are a complete lie, but I kind of dig that I guess. Once upon a time this was a free state however, in fact it was called the Orange Free State. That orange in the name of course relates to the Dutch, well more specifically their descendants of the Boers, who founded this free state in the mid 19th century. In 1902 however, at the end of the second Boer war, the free state was incorporated into the now British ruled South Africa. Despite no longer being free or a state, that name stuck around, but they removed the orange I guess. Like I said, while this name on the surface seems a bit bland, there's some interesting stuff going on with it. On the Nine scale, I'd give it a solid 7 out of 10. Like I said, this is completely down to my own crazy whims. It gets bonus points because the orange free state flag is really great too. Then on South Africa's eastern coast, we have the province of KwaZulu-Natal. This might be the single best province name in the country. First, it's two names. This is because it was created when the former provinces of KwaZulu and Natal were merged together. And secondly, both of these names have different meanings and come from very different origins. KwaZulu means the place slash kingdom of the Zulu, in honour of its native inhabitants. This makes it the only province in South Africa named after its inhabitants. Natal is of Portuguese origins, a language that doesn't play much of a role in modern South Africa. Natal of course means Christmas, and was named by Portuguese navigator Vasco de Gama when he sighted the land on, you guessed it, Christmas Day. I'm tempted to give this province a 9 out of 10 on the Nine scale. The name comes from two very different languages, with one being native and one being an export. The native name pays homage to the native race of people and the exported name celebrates something that didn't have deep roots in Africa before that point. Though yes by now they do in fact know about Christmas across the continent, despite what some dumb singers in the 80s ranted about. This name honestly feels like it captures the native and foreign history of South Africa perfectly. Maybe it's a 10. Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, it references Christmas, and I love Christmas. This fun comes to a sudden stop, however, with the names of the last three South African provinces. They are called Northern Cape, Eastern Cape, and Southern Cape. This of course references the Cape of Water around the south of the continent. There's not really much to say about these guys, I'm giving them a 2 out of 10 each. With that 2, it's simply coming from the fact that they mention the word Cape. Cape has become a word very much linked with South Africa, whether that be with the Cape of Good Hope and of course Cape Town itself. It's cool they reflect this fact. It's far better than just Northwest, that's for sure. But that wraps up the names of the provinces of South Africa, and like I said up top, it's a real mixed bag of results. Some of these names come from pretty darn interesting origins and languages, whereas some come from the most mundane, dull, obvious origins that you could possibly imagine. South Africa is a diverse country, and that diversity is even found in these province names. How would I rank these names as a collection on the 9A scale however? I'd probably be boring go slap bang in the middle with a 5 out of 10. But I really like this arbitrary 9A scale I made up during the writing of this video however to help pad it out. Let me know what other sets of names you would like to see judged by the name explain interesting name etymology scale. Or whatever I said it stood for, I can't remember. Name Explained depends on viewers like yourself supporting the channel financially on Patreon, so a huge thank you to everyone who does. Donating just $1 a month helps the channel amazingly and gets you bonuses including ad-free videos, exclusive content, the power to request ideas to be made into actual Name Explained videos, and your name at the end of the video with all these awesome people. Visit patreon.com forward slash Name Explained or click the link down below to find out how you too can support the channel. Thank you. 
thanks for reaching the end of the video. Why not watch another and subscribe to keep up to date on all things Name Explain? You can find myself on Instagram where I'm Name Explain YT and join the Facebook group Friends of Name Explain to talk with myself and other name nerds. All that will be linked down below. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.